For decades, these workers built gas-powered cars. Now the vehicles rolling off their assembly line are all electric. Our intent is to ramp up as quickly as possible. Um, we have very high demand for these vehicles. The GM plant in Ingersoll, Ontario, will produce bright drop electric delivery vans for customers including FedEx, Walmart and Hertz in the U.S. and DHL in Canada. The next decade you're going to see an onslaught of electric vehicles. Uh, you'll can see continued investment in Canada because we are all in for the, for the future. The factory closed in May for a billion dollar retooling. The Ontario and Canadian governments have kicked in a half billion dollars to help GM upgrade this plant and others. For a sector that slipped from dominance in recent years, it's a reversal of fortune. We're focused on making sure we're competitive. The investments meant to ensure Canada's auto sector doesn't fall behind as the U.S. pushes forward with huge subsidies to secure clean energy jobs. With the market in the U.S. moving very rapidly towards EVs, uh, the Canadian uh, industry will be really well situated for uh, providing a lot of vehicles for, for the U.S. sale. Manufacturing momentum does seem to be picking up. In the past two years, 10 companies, including Stellantis, LG and Honda, have committed billions of dollars to build EVs or make batteries here. Canada is a very mineral rich country. Um, we're, you know, proximity to the United States and establishing the battery supply chain within North America is a significant opportunity. At the GM plant, 400 staff have been retrained to build EVs. As many as 1,600 could be on the job by the end of next year. We'll actually have to hire for the third shift, which is good news for people looking for work. After enduring years of uncertainty from a declining auto sector, for these auto workers, there's a clearer road ahead. Nisha Patel, CBC News, Ingersoll, Ontario.